And then the next thing that any company is going to have to do is to figure out how to make that product widely known. And that's called distribution. There are five main categories. The storefront. A company basically buys or rents a store in a busy area to get walk-in traffic. Okay? Hires a sales rep to communicate with the customers who walk in. Now, cannot that, can that person who opened that store not advertise in the newspaper to drive traffic to the store? Of course he can. Can he send out postcards to everybody in the area and tell them where the store is? Of course he can. What I chose to give you here were the five main categories of distribution. The second one is direct mail. That's where a company buys addresses. They hire a marketing person to write and send written communications about products and services through the mail. Okay? And so basically the salesperson is a communicator who writes written language. Okay? So that's the whole concept in that one. Telemarketing is where the company buys a list of telephone numbers, hires and trains salespeople to call and explain and sell products and services over the telephone. The Internet is where a company puts up a website and advertises to get traffic. Similar to direct mail, the marketing occurs through written communication. And then the last one there is, is an MLM company. The company brings in sales representatives who want to sell products and services and train others to do the same. All right? You understand that MLM is just one of the five main categories to distribute a product. In my view, is an ethical company is one which makes a consumer's life better regardless of which method of distribution the company chooses to use to make their products widely known. Right? See, that has to be the determining factor. There has to be some measuring stick, if you will, because it certainly isn't the distribution method that a company chooses to create it that decides whether or not it's legal or ethical. Okay? Because, as I said, there are you know, scams as doctors, there are scams as governments, there are scams in, in storefronts, there are scams in telemarketing. But here's really the, uh, probably the main thing that I want you to really get on this, uh, other than the fact that uh, there's a lot of scams out there in every category. Why do the scams use multi-level marketing? In other words, not, like, not all of them, but like a lot of them use multi-level marketing. Why? Because it's so powerful. In other words, whatever it is that someone wants to use the MLM industry to distribute, it does so in a very rapid way. And so if a scam wants to deploy the scam and it uses telemarketing, then don't attack the telephone. If somebody uses a rock to kill somebody, don't blame the rock. The rock didn't kill somebody. The person did. And so if a, a scam uses telemarketing to deploy its scheme, don't attack the telephone. Attack the scheme. In other words, the people themselves. It is the person who has bad intentions. It's the person who is running the scam. And you can have a legal company, but you can have staff employees running a scam. You can have a legal MLM company, and you can have leaders that are running a scam. In other words, they're tricking people. And so it doesn't matter which method of distribution that you use. MLM happens to just be very effective because it uses by word of mouth. And by word of mouth passes much faster than any other method of distribution. And so that's the reason that it has gotten so much attention. It's because it is so powerful. But it's going to rest on me and you. Because the ethical things that you to do, and there's no way that I could leave you without, uh, without sharing this part with you, if you know Professional Inviter, it has 10 communication qualities in it. Number one, be interested in the prospect. Number two, don't be distracted by anything when you're talking to the prospect. Number three, have a sincere, friendly facial expression. Number four, use the right amount of assertiveness, meaning don't push them. Number five, communicate easily. Number six, make sure your body doesn't distract the prospect. Number seven, tell the truth. Number eight, know what you're talking about. Number nine, communicate at the prospect's level. Number ten, have the intention to make the person's life better. Okay, so those are the ten communication qualities. You cannot go wrong unless what you do is use those qualities to pass a scheme or a scam through. Right? Let me share one other thing with you, and that is, is that what are the ethical things that you can do in terms of building your business? 
And again, this is, don't go blaming anybody, just I'm asking you to pick it up from here and go forward. Number one, get customers. Okay? I'm not telling you to move yourself into direct sales. I'm not saying do nothing but sell products. I recommend you get enough customers that you absolutely know how to get customers and that you can train other people how to get customers. Because if you don't teach people how to get customers, then what that person is going to turn and do is then going to get other people, is going to recruit somebody else into it and not know how to remove, remove products to a consumer. And so all that person is going to know how to do is to go out there and try to get five people into their business. And what's that person going to teach them how to do? Get five more people into the business. And so the consumer ends up being the person you recruited instead of being someone outside of the network itself. And so number one, get customers. Number two is get a distributor. And teach that distributor, and if your company calls them affiliates, if your company calls them, you know, whatever, just, you know what I'm talking about. Get a new person into the business. Okay, so you get one new person into the business and then teach that person how to get customers. And after that person can get customers, you teach that person how to get distributors. You get the idea. This is the way that it has to be built. It's ethical to build it this way. And it's the only way to retire. Because if you don't do that, you're always going to have to be pumping the system. This Hot Topic briefing was taken from one of Tim's monthly MLM training calls. Want to get more people to join your MLM business? Tim built a downline of 56,000 people in five years, starting part-time. See exactly how he did it at www.firstclassmlmtools.com forward slash free zero one.